becoming a builder. Father, thanks for your blessing tonight. Your great blessing, your calling to make us builders. We love it, Lord. We thank you. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Thanks for anointing us with the anointing. I see the rain of the builder's anointing falling all over you. Receive it. God's blessing is over you to become a builder. You will build many things for the Lord. In Jesus' name. Now listen, in the night I was asking God for 2,000 church buildings. Yes. I mean, we are getting towards 1,000, but I was praying about it. 2,000 buildings. But I believe we can have even more than that. Thousands of church buildings. Every church with a building. One day we'll have, most of the churches will have buildings. Why not have a building? Why should we have a church without a building? First Love Church is building. Mutual, we are building. Winneba, we are building. Ashesi, we are building. We are going to start other places. Yes. And why should we have be without a building? All over. In many places, you'll be hearing of it. And that anointing is coming. You see, when you, when you build, when you build, you build your own house also because... As you seek first the, the house of God, uh, the seed you sow to put a cover over God's house, God's children, you put a roof over their head. God will put a thousand roofs over your head. A thousand roofs over your head. A thousand roofs over your head. I will always remember when Action Center was being, uh, the sword cutting was being done for Action. Idahosa Archbishop Idahosa, who who died some years ago, came there. He stood there with his white flowing robe and he said, if you build a house for God, God will build a house for you. If you build a house for God, God will build a house for you. I will never forget those words. Ring like a bell in my soul. If you build a house for God, God will build a house for you. I never forget those words. I was standing by him. I was standing there by him. He was standing by me. I was standing by him. If you build a house for God, God will build a house for you. It rang in my heart, in my soul. God will build a house for you. If you build a house for him. You must seek the Lord to build his house. And as you seek to build God's house, God will bless you to build many houses for yourself. Yes. It's interesting. When I moved, the church moved into Kolegono. That was the same time I moved into my own house for the first time in my life. Almost, almost on the same date. As I was building the house of God, God was providing for me miraculously. 20 something years old, I was now in my own house. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Rent free. It may not have been completed, but <laughs> since I was in my 20s, I've been rent free. And I've never paid rent since I was born. Yeah. This is how your story is going to be. Too. <laughs> Father, thank you for those who are falling in their builders anointing. Thank you for raising up your sons and your daughters to build and build and build and build. Thank you for the building anointing. The, the anointing of humility that is coming upon your children. Receive that grace. Receive that grace. If you build a house for God, God will build a house for you. If you build a house for God, one we know for building the temple and he is the one who built his own house for 13 years you have the records of both Solomon's temple and Solomon's personal house in 1 Kings 7 1 he's famous we know about the temple but as a side effect God built him his own house which took 13 years to build 
1 Kings 7, verse 1. 13 years. His own house. And he finished it. You finish yours. You park your BMW in the car park. And you step back like this. And you look at it. The floor will be whitish. There's some whitish floor paint or something for the tiles. I don't know what is under. And you will say, Daddy was once talking. He said, I will step back and I will look at my car in the garage. And you will remember today and know that God has built a house for you that you have parked your BMW in the house. Fantastic. 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 You are blessed. Some of you have to go to Asia. Build churches for God. Some of you have to go to South America. Build churches for God. Some of you have to go to Africa. Build churches for God. But you are going to build a house for God. How can I forget? Standing by God's servant, Ida Hosa. As he waved his big patakari white and was pointing to the brown field. If you build a house for God, God will build a house for you. I cannot forget it. So as you go from this place, you have two great visions. To build God's house and to build your own house and learn about building practically so that you will be called builder and not a theoretician. Lift your hands. Father, thanks a million. You've made it nice and easy. We go forth from this place. We give you thanks. We give you praise. We give you glory. You are so kind. You are so good. We love you. Thank you for building houses for all of us. Thanks for touching us. Thanks for touching our lives. We love you, Lord. We praise you. In Jesus' name. Amen.